Hi everybody, today we had the angel come through and for you, this was somebody who um, was definitely your protector, somebody who always guided you in the right direction, somebody who um, never forced you, they wanted you to learn your own lessons, they would tell you something um, and if you, whether you listen to it or not, they would um, always offer their advice and when you failed to take their advice and you fell on your face and um, you really struggled, they would be there to pick you up and dust you off, they would be there to fix um, your problems. They would always be there to redirect you, but they wouldn't ever force you to go in a direction. Um, it was completely up to you to make those choices. Um, so let's get some messages from this person. Um, but before, I thought it was pretty cool if we pulled um, some clarifying cards um, to maybe give you guys like a for sure this is your person. Um, let's see what they can give us today. I'm going to just pull three cards. Okay, so this person, it's funny that this came out with an angel. So this person really cared um, to please people. So I feel like they were, they loved to be like an, enta um, an entertainer. They loved to, um, they really enjoyed just people's company and pleasing and making people happy. It really, they loved animals. It's crazy that these are coming out with this person because this is just like such a sweet, like loving type of soul. And they definitely loved um, to please people. They loved their animals um, and they were religious or spiritual. Oh my goodness. Okay. So with the angel, I definitely think they were more religious um, than spiritual, but I definitely think that they had that, um, like that side to them. Like they just, they always kind of knew, like they had a very strong belief in what they believed in um, and they loved to make people happy. Um, and that's crazy with the angel because it's really somebody who loved to guide somebody, but they would never force you. Um, and they never got mad at you either, especially with that people pleaser coming out. Like if you never took their advice, like they weren't mad at you for not taking their advice. Like they just, um, I, I, they just kind of were like, well, let's try it again. Like we can do this. And I definitely think they, um, they loved their animals. They loved all animals. Like they were willing to just take in any animal around, which is just like me. Like I will, take any animal <laughs> off the street if I see one even if it's like my mom's like that cat probably has a home and I'm like no um oh okay so if this person left um due to oh okay so I definitely feel like this person could have left during a um like how they left they were sick or they um they maybe like something had happened to them or um, maybe they, they were really, I, I feel like they were sick before they passed or they had a really hard life um, before they passed. And that's no longer a thing. Like they are really free. Um, and that's the message that's coming out from them is they're really free and they don't want you to worry. Like everything is beautiful around them. They live a happy, beautiful life. Um, they definitely have no worries. They're super free. Um, they love every second about it. Like they're everywhere with like the clouds, sun, the earth, like they're everywhere all at once and they love it. Um, I want to see if they have any messages for you um, specifically, but they want you to know that they're free and they're okay. Um, and I love that that's coming out. Like that's their first message, especially being a people pleaser. I feel like something may have happened to their passing, um, that you just kind of worry about. You worry, um, and wonder if they're okay or, um, how they're feeling or if they're like, you know, like maybe for me, for me, um, I would always say like, I wondered if my grandpa was alone. Like I always have family. Uh, we have quite a bit of family this past, um, but I wondered if he was alone. And I don't think that they're alone. Like I definitely think they're with people, like they're with spirits. But if that's your like concern, they're not alone. They, um, I feel like on their side, they don't think about it that way. Um, but they're happy. They're free. They feel good. Again, they're able to walk around and um, breathe freely. So if they are something happened that passed around their death that makes you worry, don't worry about it anymore. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. This person, um, this person loves you a lot. And I love that that's coming through through this message. They love you so much. 
and they are always with you. Um, they are always around you with this like heart and all the stars around the heart. Like they are always, always, always with you. Look to the clouds. Um, if you ever see any like things in the clouds or if you're somebody who like likes to watch the clouds and like look for pictures, look in the clouds because they are leaving you hearts and messages. They love you so much. Oh my goodness. Yes, they love you so, so much. Um, trust the love, appreciate yourself, show respect for you. They want you to focus on you. Um, the love there is so strong and um, focus on yourself, like really, really focus on yourself. They want you to know, um, to love yourself. I, I feel like maybe uh, you kind of worry about things like ideas or situations that you have, like don't worry about those. Like do what makes you happy. Stand out. Don't be like the rest. Do what makes you happy. Um, it's okay to be different. It's okay to have different ideas. Um, and I love that that came out um, to be different because I kind of am like, I feel like sometimes like I'm a little scared or I feel um, like I, I just like worry about like what people think about me. So I love that that came out because it's like, stop worrying about what people think stand out you're beautiful you can be different and you still can be beautiful and that's what they want to tell you like you're beautiful no matter if you look like this like you're prettier than the rest because you're different and everybody else is the same be different and they love you so much um i love that this came through with the angel because they do love you so 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 much i can't get that out and with all these clouds coming out we have clouds here clouds here clouds here um really look to the clouds, um, talk to them in the clouds, talk to them, um, talk to them out loud. They're always with you. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I just kind of opened, um, oh my goodness. Okay. So I kind of just like opened the deck and then I just happened to look down. Um, birds are messengers. So if you get any birds around you and animals in general, so, um, this also was like right next to it. So animals in general, definitely they are still with you. They still listen to you. I was just telling you, like, talk to them out loud. Yes, do it. Like, talk to them. They are with you. They want to still communicate you, with you. They, um, if you see animals, and I have, like, talked about this in my other reading, and the animal is just, like, super loving or um, just something about animals, like, they use animals to communicate with you. They use animals to show their love to you. So, like, if an animal is loving on you, like, know that it's them, like, sending their love because they love you so much. And they still want to connect with you. They still talk to you. So birds, um, for my mom, she had like a bird that would harass her like every single day. So if you ever have like a bird harassing you, like they're trying to connect with you. They're trying to um, send you a message. So really try to think um, what that message is. But this person really wants you to know that they love you um, so much. And I love that that came through with this person because they're a people pleaser. So I just think that's so beautiful. Um but here's today's message. Sorry about the dog barking, but that's definitely their confirmation of they're still with you. So 